Hello everyone, my name is Halvey. In this video, I'm going to be going over the lore behind the bosses in Fire Emblem, The Blazing Blade. Bata is a bandit leader from the Burn Mountains. He is called the Beast for his savagery and he attacks a village in Sakae. Zugu is a thug who is willing to murder for gold as he is hired to kill Lin. Glass is a Sakaean swordsman with a greedy heart. He tries to steal the money Kadi and the gods fear his name. These next three bosses are all members of the Ganelon bandits. Megal prefers to sell women and pegasi rather than kill them as seen in his incident with Florina. Karjiga seeks revenge on Lin for what happened to Megal. He also likes to capture women to sell them, and he is associated with Dorcas. Bug is also after Lin to avenge his fallen comrades. He is a little more ruthless, telling his underlings not to hold back just because there are women. Bull is an assassin sent by Lundgren to kill Lin. These next two bosses are both members of the Black Fang. Heinz is in pursuit of Ninian and Nils. Bayard is also in pursuit of Ninian and Nils. He is also working under Ursula, and he stole Ninian's ring and uses it as bait to lure Ninian and Nils to him. These next three bosses are all from Kaelin. Yogi is a knight loyal to Lundgren. He thinks that deploying a ballista will give him an edge in battle. Eagler is the former knight commander of Kaelin. He owned much land in Kaelin's north. He was sane and Kent's instructor, and the two admired him greatly. When Lundgren seized control of Kaelin, Eagler was aware of the true nature of events, including the poisoning of Halson, but he still sided with Lundgren nonetheless. Kent and Sane theorized that he only served Lundgren because Lundgren was holding someone close to him hostage. Lundgren is the younger brother of Marquis Halson of Kaelin. When Halson received news that his daughter Madeline had a daughter named Lynn and that they were living in the Sakae Plains, he wanted to reunite and meet his granddaughter. Lundgren heard of this and saw Lin as an obstacle to his succession of the Kaelin throne, thus creating an inheritance dispute. Lundgren proceeds to send mercenary squads out to pursue and capture Lin. As the mercenaries fail time and time again, Lundgren begins to poison Halson so that he could inherit the throne sooner before Lin can reach Kaelin. He is able to trick the Kaelin military into his service by making it look like the poisoning is just an illness and he is acting on Halson's behalf. He brands Lin an imposter and Kent and Sane as traitors. Grozny is a Kaelin bandit hoping to take advantage that a number of Ferean knights including the Marquis have all disappeared so he declares himself the new leader of a Ferean village and demands the villagers to hand over all of their gold. Wire is a member of the Black Fang. He leads a sneak attack on Ostia Castle. Zagan is a Kaelin bandit who fights for pleasure more than money. He is sent by Ephidel to scare Eliwood away from Santa Ruse, so he approaches Eliwood's army posing as a poor villager, but his ruse is quickly seen through by Marcus. Boyas is a member of the Black Fang, working alongside Ephidel. He engages in battle with Eliwood and Hector in Santa Ruse, trying to stall for long enough time to ensure Hellman's death. However, Hellman is able to tell Eliwood where to go next in his dying breath. Puzon is a mercenary working working with bandits from Kaelin. He and his gang rob Merlinus and then try to kill him. Merlinus screams for help and Eliwood and Hector intervene just in time to save him. Eric is the son of Marquis Darren of Laos. He first met Eliwood and Hector when they were all children and as a child Eric tried to get on the good sides of those he thought were or would be powerful and he tried to make Eliwood, Hector, and other kids commit to a warrior's oath by cutting his palm so that they could all clasp hands and become blood brothers. In the present day, he ambushes Eliwood and Hector near Laos Castle, forcing them into battle. Seelin is a mercenary from Yubin's mercenary group, hired by Darren to retake Laos Castle after Eric's defeat. Bakker is a commander of the Imperial Guard of Laos. He managed to seize Kaelin Castle and capture Marquis Halson, but failed to capture Lin. Bernard is the knight commander of Laos. He leads Laos's army inside Kaelin's castle and takes a number of Kaelin's soldiers captive, including Lucius and Raven. 
Fargus is the captain of the Davros, a pirate ship. When Elliewood and Hector are searching for passage to the Dread Isle, Fargus initially demands 100,000 gold for passage. He then offers his service for free if Elliewood and Hector can pass a test of battle and get past his pirates in town and speak to him. Damien is a member of the Black Fang. He tries to assassinate Elliewood and Hector while they are engaged in battle with Fargus's crew. Zoldum is a member of the Black Fang, sent to find and capture Ninian, so he attacks Fargus' ship while Ninian is aboard. Uhai, known as the Soaring Hawk, is a senior member of the Black Fang. He defected from his native Sakaean tribe due to his beliefs of Brendan Reed's ideology. He is sent to capture Ninian. He holds respect for his fellow Sakaeans. He doesn't trust Nurgle, yet he served the Black Fang to the end. Ion is a Black Fang commander known as the Owl. He takes orders directly from Nurgle and is tasked with defeating Eliwood's army after Uhai failed. Theodore is a Black Fang druid studying the dark arts. He is known as the Shadow Hawk and he is sent to kill Eliwood and Hector. Cameron is a member of the Black Fang. He guards the Dragon's Gate and is tasked with protecting Darren, Marquis Laos. He taunts Eliwood saying that he will never see his father again. Darren is the Marquis of Laos. He works with Nurgle and the Black Fang on promises of world domination. Darren wished to take control over the entire Lycian League, a position that is currently held by Ostia. He becomes involved with the Black Fang of Bern and became closely associated with Ephidel. He begins to plan out his rebellion against Ostia and tries to convince Helmen of Santa Ruz and Albert of Foray to join him. Albert refused, which led to his disappearance. Then Darren abandons Laos when Elliewood and Hector approach, leaving his son to die in the process. He then seizes Caelan Castle where Ephidel mortally wounds Halson. He retreats once again to the Dread Isle where he makes his last stand defending the Dragon's Gate while Nurgle attempts to summon a dragon. Oleg leads a group of Black Fang in an ambush on Elliewood right after they get back from the Dread Isle. Eubens is the leader of a band of mercenaries loyal to Marquis Laos. He attacks Elliewood and Hector while they are staying in an Ostian fort. He hopes to avenge Darren, and he thinks if he takes their heads, he can join the Black Fang and burn. Jasmine and Paul are brothers, leading a pack of bandits that terrorize the Nevada desert. They try to rob Pence of whatever the artifact is that he is searching for in the desert. Pascal is a former noble of Bern and a former member of the Black Fang's Four Fangs. He was stripped of his nobility by the king for slaughtering citizens that he invited into his castle. Then he joined the Black Fang, but was imprisoned by them for his excessive cruelty. He is released from prison prison by Sonia to kill Elliewood and Hector. Vida is a former commander of Burn. Prior to the events in game, a Burn general concocted a fake rebellion and ordered Vida's unit to kill the fake rebels, who were actually unarmed peasants. Vida refused and attempted to stop the slaughter of innocents. Her whole unit was condemned to death by hanging for treason. Vida deserted the army and received the scar on her face during a battle in her escape. She winds up serving the Black Fang, and Nurgle powers up her spear and she is entrusted to kill Elliewood and Hector. However, she grows tired of the battle and retreats. Kenneth is a Black Fang commander known as the Shrike. He enjoys seeing people suffer and believes gods are lies created by the weakness in all mankind. He tries to stall for time to ensure Zephiel's assassination and protect the Fire Emblem. Germ is a member of the Black Fang known as the Death Kite. He used to be one of the Four Fangs but was replaced by Jafar when Nurgle takes control. He doesn't agree with Nurgle but doesn't care as long as he gets to kill people. As he is a psychopath, he also stalls for time to ensure Zephiel's assassination and he protects the Fire Emblem. Maxime is a member of the Black Fang and a subordinate of Ursula. Ursula is one of the Black Fang's four fangs known as the Blue Crow. When Ninian and Nils are running away from the Black Fang and Kaelin and when they first meet Lin, Ursula is the one in charge of recapturing them and the theft of Ninian's ring. She then has other business to attend to and leaves the rest to her subordinate. Ursula is eventually given orders to complete Zephiel's assassination and dispose of the traitors Nino and Jafar, who failed the initial attempt. She greatly respects
Sonya and the Fang's law that failure means death. Sonya is one of Nurgle's morphs who infiltrated the Black Fang. She is the adoptive mother of Nino, the wife of Brendan Reed, and stepmother of Linus and Lloyd. Twelve years prior to the game's events, Sonya and Nurgle ambush the family of the most famed house of magic wielders in all of Lycia. Sonya kills the mother, the father, and the son, leaving only Nino alive. At Nurgle's suggestion, she raises Nino as her own daughter, although treating her like trash. Years later, she started to get close to the Black Fang leader, Brendan Reed, eventually marrying him, all to bring the Black Fang under Nurgle's control. She manipulates Brendan and is able to order the Four Fangs to eliminate Elliewood. She is also the ringleader in the plot to assassinate Zephyo. She also kills Brendan, allowing Limstella to harvest his quintessence. Sonia is a morph who sees herself as perfection, and she has even deluded herself into believing that she is human. Lloyd and Linus are both one of the four fangs. Lloyd is known as the White Wolf and he is Brendan's eldest son. Linus is known as the Mad Dog and is Brendan's youngest son. Both are given the task of eliminating Elliewood and they are the first of the four fangs to encounter Elliewood's group near the Lycia Burn border. One of them will stay and fight while the other goes to report back to headquarters. The one to stay and fight is defeated by Elliewood and killed by Lismstella and harvested for quintessence. The one who left to report will be later guarding the Shrine of Seals in Burn. Lloyd is more calm and level-headed, while Linus is rash and impulsive. Georg and Kaim are both spirit guardians. Georg watches over the Blazing Blade Durandal in an Ostian cavern, and Kaim watches over the Thunderax Armads in a cave in the Western Isles. Denning is a morph created by Nurgle. He commands an army of morphs and invades Ostia Castle. It seems he was only created to deliver the message. This is the message from Lord Nurgle. I await you on the Dread Isle. Limstella is a morph created by Nurgle. Nurgle claims Limstella is his masterpiece and his most powerful morph. Limstella serves directly under Nurgle, going around collecting quintessence. Most of it comes from the strongest black. Black Fang members as they are defeated by Elliewood's army. Limstella, like most other morphs, is emotionless and eternally loyal to Nurgle. Kishuna is one of Nurgle's earlier creations, his 252nd morph, and the first morph to have emotions. Considered a failure by Nurgle as he cannot fight or harvest quintessence, Kishuna is a magic seal who nullifies the use of magic near him. Brendan Reed is the founder and initial leader of the Black Fang, a mercenary and assassin guild based in Bern. Nine years prior to the game's events, he founded the Black Fang, which at this point was far less sinister than it was when Nurgle takes control, as they mainly targeted nobles who abused their positions. Brendan and his sons were also known to treat Nino far better than what Sonya did. He is eventually killed by Sonya and harvested for quintessence by Limstella. He is then reanimated as a more in the final battle. Others made into morphs for the final battle include Uhai, Kenneth, Darren, Ursula, Germ, Lloyd, and Linus. Nurgle is a sorcerer and a former friend of the Archsage Athos. He is at least a thousand years old. During the scouring, Nurgle studied dark magic on Valor near the Dragon's Gate and also around this time. His wife Aenir, an ice dragon, disappeared as bad men took her away. He tells his children, Ninian and Nils, that he is going to look for her and that if he does not return in ten days, that they should pass through to the other side of the Dragon's Gate. He does not return and Ninian and Nils end up passing through the gate. About 500 years later, Nurgle meets Athos in the Nabata Desert. They become friends due to their equal knowledge and power and desire to learn the truth of the world. They discover a mixed dragon-human village within the desert. They use their magical skills to craft a barrier and oasis for the village and are welcomed in and the village becomes known as Arcadia. They stay in the village for at least two centuries 
decades studying the dragon's language and history, and at some point Nurgle used the dragon's knowledge to learn how to steal the essence of living creatures and turn it into raw power. As this involved taking the lives of the living, Athos and the village opposed Nurgle, first trying to persuade him to stop, but eventually resulted into violent conflict that disfigured Nurgle and forced him out of the village and into hiding in Burn. In Burn, Nurgle started building his army of morphs, eventually leading to him sending Sonya to infiltrate the Black Fang. Also around this time, he comes in possession of a child named Jafar and personally grooms him as an assassin to join the Black Fang. Nurgle then begins moving towards his ultimate goal of summoning dragons through the Dragon's Gate to harvest their quintessence to gain immeasurable power. He is able to simply call out to Ninian and Nils and they follow his voice and come through the gate. As they open the gate and pass through, they lose almost all of their strength and are forced to take human form, placing their power into dragon stones. Nurgle takes the dragon stones in hopes that he could use them to summon other dragons and he keeps Ninian and Nils imprisoned in case of needing them later to open the gate, as human hands are not capable of opening the gate. Ninian and Nils are able to escape, but Nurgle does get them back and re-imprisons them. Nurgle used the Black Fang and his morph Ephidel to manipulate Darren into starting a rebellion in Lycia. A war would be an easy way to gather a lot of quintessence. This leads to Elbert being captured and taken to the Dread Isle due to Elbert and his knights having very high quality quintessence. Nurgle brainwashes Ninian and uses Elbert's quintessence to open the Dragon's Gate and call a single dragon through. However, Nils is able to snap Ninian out of it. The gate closes and the dragon is destroyed. Elbert is then able to wound Nurgle, forcing him to flee. Nurgle then tries to gather more quintessence in Burn, gaining King Desmond's favor with the Zephyr assassination plot. This fails, however, due to Elliewood's interference. Nurgle then appears before Elliewood at the Shrine of Seals and takes Ninian back by force. Ninian escapes yet again and in her true dragon form, she appears before Elliewood Elliewood and is slain by Durandal. Nurgle appears again in front of Elliewood and tries to take Nils but is attacked by Athos and Nurgle shrugs off the attack and leaves without taking Nils. Nurgle returns to the Dragon's Gate to prepare for the final battle and harvest quintessence from Elliewood and his army. The Fire Dragon, it was called through the Dragon's Gate as Nurgle's dying act. Three dragons passed through in total, but two were killed by Ninian. And with all that said, that is the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, like, comment, subscribe, and have a great rest of your day.